Breakdancing is in the Olympics for the first time this year, and people have no idea what to expect. Some folks think it'll be like gymnastics or figure skating, where each dancer performs a routine. The best way I can describe a b-boy battle is like an MMA fight, but instead of using their fists, they have to use signature moves that literally only they know how to do. Taller b-boys might build up momentum and spin more easily. Smaller b-boys might throw themselves into the air more confidently. Flexible b-boys will contort in ways that you never thought was possible. And even b-boys with disabilities, they don't just keep up. They use their unique bodies to come up with signature moves that no one could possibly copy. As impossible as it looks, it's also the most inclusive sport in the entire world. It doesn't matter how rich or poor, how big or small, what ethnicity or gender you are, how different you are. The only barrier to entry, and it's a big one, is the willingness to try, to believe in yourself, and when something feels impossible or looks impossible, to keep trying. The world is about to be exposed to the most beautiful sport, and behind it is a culture and history that not enough people know about. I fell in love with breaking over 10 years ago, and it changed the direction of my life. With the Olympics around the corner, I thought this would be an awesome chance to show you guys some legendary battles between real life superheroes and have some fun judging who we think should have won. And if you want to learn more about the culture behind breaking and how it impacted me, then stick around because I cannot wait to share this part of my life with you.